how to automatically deploy your code with Schema App. In previous lessons, we've shown you how to create a data item. And then when you click save, how do you make sure that the deployment of the code goes to where you want it to go? So the first thing you need to do is decide how you want to automatically deploy it. And there's currently three options, our WordPress plugin, Google Tag Manager, or using our JavaScript API. Let's start with the WordPress pl plugin. The first thing you're gonna go ahead and do is download the WordPress plugin. You can see sort of our description of the WordPress plugin at wordpress.org. And you'll see that it marks up automatically your pages, your posts, search, author, category, and blog, in addition to being the conduit for automatic deployment. In WordPress, once you've gone ahead and installed the schema app plugin, you'll need to go to settings and schema app. In the settings under schema app, it's going to ask you to define uh, your account ID. And you find this in schema app. So if we go back to schema app and you look under WordPress plugin, you'll see at the very top, your current account ID. Why it says current is if you're using sub accounts, this will change to have your name of your business forward slash, and then your client name. You're going to go ahead and copy this into the settings under your WordPress plugin. You're then going to define whether the website is a, about a person or an organization, who the publisher's name is, and then upload a logo that meets these requirements. Go ahead and click save changes. Now, when you go ahead and save your data item, and if you've go ahead and, and make sure that you've articulated that URI to be the web page you're updating, the code will deploy automatically to your WordPress site. 